Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So for this video, we're going to talk about shadow work because I feel like personally, this is the number one thing that we all need to be doing regardless of whether we study the occult or understand like ancient Kemet and the ancient deities and all of this stuff like regardless of whether you do anything to do with metaphysics and spirituality and whatever else you need to be doing your shadow work and also this will help so many relationships as well as your own experience like it will ugh, I feel like saying it will save life, but <laughs> I don't know if that's been a little bit dramatic, but it literally will save everybody's experience and help us to consciously create the reality and the relationships that we actually want is by getting to know yourself, doing your shadow work. So shadow work for me is basically uncovering the parts of yourself that you have neglected or shunned or belittled or pushed away like when you talk about running away from yourself or running away from certain things it's an aspect of yourself that has chosen to do that or an, an another aspect of yourself that you've chosen to push away so you can kind of think of it like being multiple people but you're not actually multiple people like we all have different parts to us that feel different things and fear different things so when you think about a child and how we were all children at one point you can perceive that to be a past version of you or a part like an old part of you kind of thing but it's still a part of you in the present right now like your child self still exists within you it doesn't just disappear just because you get older if you think of it in that way you can also kind of see it as it's not just one child version of you you have many because of the fact that the child version of you is not just at one point in time, like we have existed through many years in this lifetime and you can also count all of the past lives that you may or may not have had. So if you think about yourself as a child in this life, you have gone through years upon years of being a child and then you come into adulthood and you go through years upon years of being an adult and all of that time shapes you and kind of adds on to the expansion of your soul if that makes sense so the amount of time that you have been here or the amount of experiences that you've been here for because how do you really calculate time like you calculate it through cycles and the lessons that we have go in cycles of us learning how to integrate and elevate certain parts of ourselves it kind of goes in a cycle and a spiral so when you're thinking about your shadow self it's so so vast and so many pieces to it because it's not just one experience that created it it's so so many experiences and so many memories that have shaped you and who you are and your mind and your consciousness and everything that you remember so there's just a lot to it and a lot to uncover and when you think about trauma people tend to um ignore it or bury it or like as a coping mechanism sometimes they forget that certain situations even happened in the past because they've kind of pushed it into such a back space within their mind like into the shadows that they don't even remember it happening so when you think about how possible that is and so many people do those kind of things there's a lot a lot within our consciousness that is waiting for us to love on it and just kind of acknowledge the fact that it exists you know and I kind of like to think of emotions as being different aspects of me or the different aspects of me experience different emotions if that makes sense which is just like doing chakra work because you can perceive the chakras to be different versions of you or different people whatever works for you it's just a way to externalize the internal so that you can understand it more so it's just literally a way to break it down for yourself because our ego mind doesn't really 
grasp things that well and it kind of finds it hard to internalize certain things so that's why ancient Egypt they knew to externalize things into deities and gods and goddesses to make it easier to understand what all of these different personas or archetypes are and we all have them within ourselves and doing the shadow work is like almost like having a reunion with those parts of yourself because say growing up you were very creative and imaginative and you loved to draw or you love to do something creative and then your parents or whoever was around you maybe um friends in school and stuff say they started to take the mick out of you for doing that the amount of shame that that would create within your mind and in your body and like your energetic signature of how your body would then constrict and react to that the humiliation that you would feel you may stop doing those things, like you stop being creative and you grow up and you no longer do it. You become an adult, you're no longer painting or something. But that doesn't mean that that part of you doesn't exist anymore. It's just something that you've shunned and you've pushed to the back of your mind, but it's still there, it still exists. And you might start having dreams about being creative. And it's because you're like, that part of yourself is not able to communicate with you when you're awake because you're ignoring it when you're awake. And when you're asleep and the ego mind goes to sleep, your subconscious is then able to bring this forward and show you that actually this part of yourself wants to come out, like you want to be creative in that way and you keep ignoring it, so I'm gonna keep on showing you in your dreams until you pay attention and realize that you're shunning this part of yourself. So shadow work isn't something to fear or get overwhelmed by, it's actually quite simple, but it can be difficult and painful depending on what you've been through and how you've handled those situations and how many parts of yourself you've shunned really like I feel like this is a lifelong um process because there's always something that you can uncover about yourself and always parts of yourself that you can bring closer to you like parts of yourself that need your love need your compassion because you've neglected them for so long that they don't have that and they don't know how to exist with you kind of thing I know it sounds a little bit crazy and a bit weird but that is what we all do and for some reason we feel all of these emotions and we think that by suppressing something it's not going to have any kind of effect or it's not going to come out at all but it will because it's not going to go anywhere it's within your own mind so it makes sense that obviously it's going to come up in some way whether that be your dreams whether that be through like your physical experience and the people that you meet and stuff whether that be through you lashing out and getting annoyed over something small when it has nothing to do with the real issue that you're actually dealing with you know there's many ways that we cope and that these things come to the surface and it's not trying to punish you it's literally trying to help you it's trying to reunite all of the sad neglected parts of yourself if you think about it being a child when you think of a child being neglected and sad what do you want to do for them you want to go and hug them and tell them that it's going to be okay and that you're there for them and you love them and you hear them and you see them and they're not alone but for ourselves most of the time we don't do that to ourselves if there's a part of us that wants to come out and we feel like that part is not good enough and it shouldn't be coming out because society is going to tell us that it's wrong we start to shun it as well we start to tell it that it needs to shut the fuck up sit back down we don't want to hear from you kind of thing and we do that to ourselves in our own minds and then we wonder why things go a bit crazy for us <laughs> and I'm talking for myself as well because I've done this so so much as a child and I'm having to go back through all of my beliefs because at the end of the day it is a belief system going back through all of the beliefs that I have held for a long time and try to even understand why we believe them where they've come from what created them and then be able to break that cycle and shift it to a belief that we do actually want to have and that maybe I will make a full video on how to change your beliefs because that is also another daily process but that is kind of why we're here like that is the journey of life is that we're getting back to our authentic truth 
by having to strip away all of the things that have been piled on us and drilled into us from childhood we're having to get rid of those things so it is an incredible thing and the more that you practice it the more that you do it the more that you notice a negative thought and you realize where it's coming through from and then you switch it to a positive one or one that you want to reinforce the more you get in like the practice and system of doing that the easier it becomes and the more that you actually notice these thoughts when they come up like once you start you'll notice it constantly and you'll constantly be like hang on a second I don't want to think that thought because that's actually not true I already know that that thought is not true but this is what is the truth let me switch to this thought instead kind of thing so yeah there's lots of tools and ways that you can do this and if you have any video suggestions anything that you want me to delve into further definitely comment down below or you can dm me on instagram or you can whatsapp me or text me my phone number my instagram my social media is all in the description box below as well as links to my music and links to elemental mirror which is my crystal healing jewelry brand all of that is in the description box below and i really hope that this video was helpful and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. You could say I love you. I can't get enough, but I just want you to myself.